Have you ever been trying to edit in Final Cut and your MacBook is just whizzing out and it is taking forever? It's buffering, there's delay, you get a little rainbow wheel, there's lots of latency, dropped frames, and you're like, I just got this computer, or this computer is relatively new and it's all spec'd out, it's got plenty of memory, it's got plenty of RAM, it's got plenty of storage, why on earth is it bugging up on me? I paid a premium for Apple products specifically so I wouldn't have this issue and I could speed up my workflow with no issues. If that's you, then I may have a solution that could help. All right, so I got a brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip inside of it. And uh, I'm coming from the 2020 or 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch and I got 32 gigs of RAM and I wasn't having a whole lot of issues with my last computer except when I was editing some FX3 footage with like some pretty beefy file sizes. So you'll understand my surprise when on my brand new MacBook, I started editing some easy edits in Final Cut Pro and the spinning wheel of death would not leave me alone. Every time I paused playback, every time I tried to move around and scrub the timeline too much, it would wig out on me. I'd have to wait three to five seconds, sometimes more, for it to, to work itself out and then I could continue editing. This didn't happen on my older computer, so it must be something with the M1 chip, I'm thinking. And so I scrounged the internet trying to find answers. And long story short, I have completely fixed the issue, no more problems, and it all had to do with using the Chrome browser on my computer. So I came across this forum, and it described exactly the issue that I'm having, and again, the fix was to get rid of Chrome because there's a bug in Chrome that I, apparently they're trying to work on to, to get it fixed out, but something's not working right, and it is slowing down. It's taking up a lot of the video playback usage that you're supposed to be able to have on these M1 chips. I had a buddy who was having the exact same issue and uh, same equipment and Final Cut was really buggy on him. It was slowing down his workflow. And so this solution worked for me and it also worked for him, which was getting rid of Chrome entirely off of our computers as well as any files associated with it. Now I hear your objections. I use Chrome for everything. I've got all my bookmarks saved, my extensions. I use Google Drive to deliver videos for all my clients. I was right there with you, and so I was very nervous about this. In fact, I almost didn't even try this because I didn't want to give up using Chrome. That's what I've used for years, that's what I'm comfortable in. But there is a fix that will make this transition completely seamless, and I've actually loved it. My computer is like three times faster, not only in browsing the internet, but also just in general, my computer is running much faster, especially when I'm editing in Final Cut. So several months back, I think in like December, I listened to a podcast where Joe Rogan had uh, an expert on on that talked about Google and the, the issues with it at times, but I'll link that below in case you wanna check that out. So this guy, I think his name is Robert Epstein, but he talks about how, you know, because of all the targeted ads and, you know, being the number one search engine and, and all that stuff, there's actually a lot of potential privacy issues and stuff, but I'll, I'll let you listen to the podcast for that. All that to say, it had planted some seeds that I was like, you know what, maybe I, I don't wanna be using this for much longer. In fact, on my phone, I downloaded the mobile browser that this guy developed with his team and his company, and it's called Brave. And you don't get any targeted ads on it, which is part of why the browser itself runs much more efficiently. It doesn't have any questionable privacy issues, and it's Chrome-based, which means using it, you feel like you're using Chrome. But the solution to switch over to that was so much easier and painless than I, I could have ever imagined. So I'll actually link the forum below where this issue is explained in full detail with all the instructions to fix this. Um, but basically the first thing you'll need to do is download the software of your choosing. I'm gonna recommend Brave. Uh, it's actually great, I really like it. Again, I've been using it on my phone for several months and, and now using it on my computer. So you'll download that and then again, within like 60 seconds, you'll be good to go because you'll open it and it will give you the option to import all your settings so that's all your bookmarks all your extensions everything will automatically transfer over as if nothing happened and then you can delete Chrome off of your computer entirely you'll follow the instructions in the link below and you just go into some of the folders and get rid of all the Google files seriously like it could not be any easier and I'm not like a coding guy or I don't like getting into the files in my system because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess something up. It's very simple, very cut and dry, and you'll be up and running in no time. My buddy Aaron, he did it as well, and he's like, dude, my computer is running so much faster. It feels like a brand new computer. So if you're having any issues and you're using Chrome, then this may be the solution for you. That's all I got. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know below if this is the issue that you're having and if this helped you fix the issue so you can get back to editing, you can get back to turning stuff in, you can finish 
finish your projects and you can feel good about yourself. I would love to hear that, love to know that this is actually helpful for people. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if that's something that you'd be interested in doing to help out the channel, help it to grow, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.